today we are going to talk about what is use strict in javascript so use strict is a feature of ecmascript 5 which basically puts your program or your function in a strict execution context what that means exactly that any variable that you are trying to access should be declared before its uses one more thing is that you cannot delete any variable a function or its argument in a use strict mode also you cannot use any keyword reserve for the future version so var let is equal to a will not work in use strict mode so javascript without use strict works like your girlfriend she will forget and forgive teeny tiny mistake that you do and probably behind the scene she will fix that but javascript with use strict is like your third grade teacher she will point each and every teeny tiny mistake that can cause trouble in your program in future so enough talking let's go coding <laughs> So open up any browser and we are going to an awesome website called repl.it. So here only we are going to run our JavaScript program. Go to languages, select JavaScript. So the first question is to ask why use strict as a string? If you notice over here use strict is written on top of the any JS file as a string. Why not use use strict like this and the reason is that when use strict was introduced in ECMAScript 5 most of the older browser couldn't support this new feature so if they found anything uh, any keyword written as use strict they will throw an error to avoid that javascript uh, did use script feature as a string so any older browser will look add this is string on top of any JS file and it will see uh, it's not doing anything let's go and execute other function so that is why use strict is used as a string on top of any JS file using a variable without its declaration so if I do a is equal to a 10 and if I do console dot log a and run that it's printing fine so what's basically happening behind the scene is even if you haven't declared any variable either using var or with let the javascript internally does that work for you but here if you use use strict in the beginning of any file so if i type use strict let's run this and it's saying reference error a is not defined when you use use strict you cannot use any variable without it declaring first so next thing that we are going to learn is eval so if you don't know about eval let me give you one example first so if i do console dot log then hello comma eval and here basically you can execute any type of javascript so if i so eval will evaluate a and declare a here if i do not use use strict and run it it's fine it's printing hello a is 5 and a plus 1 is 6 so it is fine but the problem uh, here is that even if you have declared variable inside eval the variable actually leaks out to the global execution context so if I do console dot log a the a and let's see what happens here so a is available after the execution of eval is finished which can um, 
puts you in kind of a dangerous situation if you can imagine so if you are doing any kind of a calculation inside evolve and that variable is leaking out let's say i have declared my uh, var a is equal to 10 over here and if i do evolve in the next line and after evolve the variable will change obviously this comma let's run this now and let's print a in before evolve hmm. so before evolve execution of evolve a is 10 and after execution of a wall i have redefined value, uh, value of a as 5 and even though its execution context is finished it is still containing the values which were defined in evolve so it's kind of a danger of situation and it's polluting the global execution context so if you use use strict here the variable used inside the evolve will have scopes till evolve only it will not leak out to the global execution context so let's run this you can see the value of a is uh, printed uh, as 10 after execution of evolve so evolve is working as it expected it has defined a new variable a and printed with one increment as 6 so after evolve here is the cool thing it is still containing the value which were defined in the global execution context so use strict restricts leaking of variable to the global execution context so if you do not use use strict you can actually create a variable like this var public is equal to 10 and print public let's see what happens 10 it's printing fine but the problem here is in the future version of javascript when the all the new uh, uh, browser will update to ECMAScript 5 or ECMAScript 7 this public keyword will have a different meaning so it can like collides with your code and creates uh, unexpected kind of bug in your code so you if you use use strict and if you try to use any variable which are reserved for the future version of javascript you cannot use that so here i am using use strict and let's try to run this it's saying public is a reserved word in strict mode let's say if you try to declare a variable let var let is equal to 10 and print let it will again throw the error unexpected token Now let's talk about using delete with use strict. So if you are using use strict and if you do var a is equal to 10, then do console dot log. It will print 10 as it is. But if you do delete a, it will throw an error. It says deleting local variable in strict mode it is showing syntax error so deleting a variable not allowed if you are using strict mode similarly if you declare a function call again it is throwing an error deleting local variable is not allowed in strict mode and even if you try to delete a function but you can delete 
property of an object so let's say I have declared an object it's printing the value fine absolutely fine let's delete obj dot a and try to print that again so I am deleting property of an object and let's run this undefined so first time it obj has one value 10 it is printing you can delete property of an object it is allowed in use state mode and next time if you print obj dot a it is undefined another cool thing uh, to know that you can use use strict in a function also let's say you do not want to use uh, strict let's say you can declare a variable like this and console dot log a it will run fine no problem with that you want to use strict in a function so you can type use strict in a function and then if you try to do b is equal to 20 and do console log it will throw an error okay let's put that as a first line and try to run it so here it is running why because I haven't invoked this function yet so JavaScript has uh, created memory spaces for this memory spaces for this it has uh, stored use strict but it hasn't executed function so let's execute this function and after that let's see the results see b is not defined so before execution it wasn't complaining about b isn't defined but after execution of function only it is throwing that error so lesson here is that you can use use strict in a function also just you have to take care you have to declare use strict on top of the function so this is all about use strict I hope this video helps you there is a little more thing that I would like to cover but uh, time is running out so in the description uh, you will find a link to an awesome article which explains use strict in a better way or you can check out the info card of this YouTube video thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video where I will cover more tricky part of JavaScript